All right, I'm going to try and make this a quick video about uh, mailing perfumes. Everybody isn't sure, a lot of people don't know, are you allowed to ship perfumes uh, through the mail? Um, the answer, quick answer right away, I'm going to tell you straight out, is yes. But there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's not a lot, but there are some rules, regulations, and restrictions about shipping perfumes um, through the post office. Uh, I, and again, I don't know if you can do it, I, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure... Um, FedEx Express and UPS would not allow you to, but if, if you just want to ship your perfumes um, at the post office, USPS, it's okay, and now I'm going to tell you uh, what you have to do. First of all, see this box, this UPS priority mail box? No, you cannot, you, you cannot send, you cannot ship perfumes uh, by priority. See this brown box? This is what you got to use. You got to ship them. Oh, and the reason you can't ship your uh, perfumes priority is because you're not allowed to ship perfumes uh, via airmail any longer and I, I believe that might include first class um, but and the reason you're not allowed to uh, ship perfumes via airmail is because perfumes are made with alcohol alcohol is very f uh, flammable um, as you may know from all those Molotov cocktails you've seen people make in movies and stuff like that but no you can't do it has to go ground that's the main thing uh, you have to know. Uh, there are a couple of other uh, restrictions. Now, now, uh, now that I told you you can't ship airmail, that would follow that you can't ship perfumes internationally. And the reason you can't ship perfumes internationally is because they have to go ground. There's no ground on the ocean. You know, <laughs> Just, I mean, if a submarine or some kind of thing, no, that's not happening. Um, I think the only way they mail things um, across the world now would be air. Um, you know, so I, one thing I can tell you is uh, eBay in their global shipping does seem to allow perfumes to be sold uh, because I list perfumes and it's selected global shipping, so I leave it just in case. But to be honest, I haven't sold any yet via global shipping, so I'm not even 100% sure on that. Uh, when it comes to shipping perfumes internationally, you're better off just saying, nah, I don't do it, sorry. Uh, anyway, um, the main, I, I told you the main thing, you can definitely ship perfumes. Um, whether it's a gift to someone, a friend, uh, family, lover, what, I don't know. Um, you can ship the perfumes uh, ground as a regular person or as an eBay seller, same deal. You just have to ship them ground. Okay, a couple of other rules and regulations um, that apply. And they're, they're obviously would probably be more that most people would have to deal with, right? Or might have to deal with. Um, but that's why I'm going to include the link to the post office uh, website dealing with these rules and regulations about shipping perfumes uh, like, like this one, right? Okay, the other two main rules and regulations you need to know besides has to go ground. That's the main thing, has to go ground, right? The other two you need to know is that... Um, you can't ship multiple bottles of perfume. You can't go like, oh, I got a, I got like a dozen friends that I that like this perfume. So I'm just going to ship it to this one address, and then I'm going to tell the person there to give them to all my friends. No, you can't do that. You have to ship one at a perfume, uh, one perfume at a time. Again, um, a lot of people might risk this and take a shot at it. But if anything were to ever happen, you did sign uh, a legal contract. Um, when you accept it, because um, the po like I said, the po the postal worker will ask you, um, "Do you have perfumes in this in this box um, or anything other hazardous?" And you will say no if you don't, but you will say yes if you do, right? And the reason you will say yes is because then you have to click um, on their pad, their touchpad, yes or no, and this is like. Uh, it's a federal document. It's like a legal agreement. If you do anything wrong, you just lied to a federal worker anyway about something that's potentially uh, that that's illegal um, because uh, the post office is a branch of the federal government. Anyway, so be honest. When you go to the post office, say, yes, I'm shipping a perfume, and then you'll be allowed to ship it ground. Don't ship multiple perfumes. And another main rule, and it won't apply to most people because normally you can't buy a 16 ounce bottle of, of perfume, a bottle containing 16 ounces of any perfume. Most times, the largest you'll see is 3.4, maybe 6.8, right? But 
if you have an 18 ounce bottle of perfume, you're not allowed to ship it. Uh, but the weight does not include the bottle and the perfume. So you can have a 30 pound bottle, right? And one ounce of perfume in it, that's fine. No big deal. Uh, it just can't be more than 16 ounces. Anyway, that's the three main things you need to know if you're selling uh, and shipping perfumes on eBay or if you're sending them as gifts. Um, so this leaves blown by. Look, it's fall here. Uh, that's the three main things you need to know. Um, and I'll summarize them one, two, three. Uh, maybe four things. Uh, shipping ground. Perfumes need to be shipping ground and you have to be honest to your postal worker um, and and just not don't ship it priority, right? Uh, two, uh, one bottle at a time. Three, no more than 16 ounces of perfume in a bottle. Um, I'm gonna, again, I'll include a link to USPS.com where you can um, check what I've said and see if any there are any other rules that apply to you. Um, pretty much covered everything you would generally need to know. So if you wanna sell perfumes, you wanna give perfumes as a gift, uh, go ahead, it's all good. Uh, you know, go for it. And uh, Christmas is coming, so you know, send them perfumes. Uh, Merry Christmas.